Now then, my friends, what's so special about this lamppost here? Well, nothing really, because there are thousands of them all over the place, just like this lot behind me. And they all obviously come on at night to help us see in the dark. I've actually been thinking about this, and um, I reckon that if we just switched the whole lot off and ate a load of carrots, we'd just save money. Then again, maybe not. And all of that stuff that I've just said is pretty obvious, apart from the carrot bit. But something I've been wondering for years in my strange little world is why do lampposts have numbers on them? Is it to help up-and-coming artists learn painting by numbers? <laughs> Probably not. Here's the word on the street. Lamppost. No idea. To show the people what directions they're going in. No, I don't, I don't know. Should I take a guess? Because um, there's too many of them to have names, so they can only call each other by numbers. No, I'll think about this one. They say the number, and one by one they'll go on the number yeah. according yeah. to the sequence. Yes, yeah. that's why. Yeah. So we know how many that there are. <laughs> I didn't know lampposts have got numbers. Now then, believe it or not, it isn't neon impossible to find out the answer to this question. So, why do lampposts have numbers on them and what do they mean? Who knows? Hi, I'm Paul and I'm working for Seaboard in London. We're in charge of the street lighting in the Royal Borough of Kensington and Chelsea and I know exactly why columns have numbers on them. Me and my team Hello. look after 12,000 units, which sounds a lot, but there is over a million units in the UK. This is one of our lamp posts, and this is a number plate. Each council uses similar systems, but the numbers mean all the same thing. The four numbers at the top are the area in which the lamp post is located in, and the four numbers at the bottom are the lamp post number in that road. If there's a problem with the lamp post, give the council a ring, give them this number, and we'll do the rest. So once the council get the call, one of the street lighting guys sits at a computer and types in the lamppost number and also the problem. So the problem with our one is that the lamp is out. This computer then brings up a map which shows us exactly where the lamppost is. And there's our one just there. This guy then emails Paul all of this stuff, Paul picks it up and goes off to fix it. So that's how we find the lamppost with the fault on. So now, you know. Oh well, looks like it's time for a quick commercial break. <laughs>